We're coming to the end of the story of the demoness Karkati. Her sister continued. After listening to these wise words of the king, Karkati became tranquil and her demoniacal nature left her. She said to them, O oh, wise men, you are both fit to be worshipped by all and to be served by all, and I have been thoroughly awakened by your holy company. One who enjoys the company of enlightened men does not suffer in this world, even as one who holds a candle in his hand does not see darkness anywhere. Pray tell me what can I do for you? Um, the status of, of, of Karkati's enlightenment seems to vary. Um, she, seems, she was described really as, as, as enlightened earlier and uh, I assume she was feigning ignorance when she asked the king uh, to, to talk about the Supreme Self or Brahman. But uh, it seems that her demoniacal nature is still a prob was still a problem. And um, it's quite a nice uh, th thing that is said here. One who enjoys the company of enlightened men does not suffer in this world, even as one who holds a candle in his hand does not see darkness anywhere. And this is the uh, this would be the advantage of of uh, being in the company if you can get it. Of, of such people. Um, it's just to remind you of where you're going, of what you're about. It's so easy to forget, so easy to miss the point, and we need constant reminders. It's great if somebody else can do it, although ultimately you have to do it by yourself. So let's see what Karkati for the king. The king said, O oh lady, in my city many people suffer from rheumatic heart troubles. In the country there is also an epidemic of cholera. It is in order to investigate these and find a remedy for them that my minister and I came out of the palace tonight. My humble submission to you is this. Do not take the life of any of my people. Kirkati at once succeeded to the king's request. Now please tell me, how shall I recompense you for your kindness and appease your hunger? Kakati replied, Once I had the intention of engaging myself in penance in the Himalayas and giving up the body, but now I have given up that idea. I shall give you my biography. Once upon a time I was a demoness of gigantic proportions. I wished to devour people and with this intention performed penance. From the crater Brahma I obtained a boon as a result of which I became a needle and also the cholera virus. As such, I brought untold misery to people. Brahma, however, also, involved, also evolved a mantra, by which alone I am brought under control. This mantra was given earlier on. Learn this mantra, and with its help you can enable people to get rid of rheumatic heart troubles, also leukaemia and other blood illnesses. I used to spread leukemia in such a way that it was passed on by the parent to his children. All the three of them then went to the bank of the river where the king received the mantra from Karkati. This mantra becomes effective by its repetition, Japa. So we've got a bit of uh, folk medicine here or, or a bit of healing magic. The grateful king said to Karkati, O oh, kind lady, now you have become my guru and friend. Friendship is valued by good people. Pray, assume a gentle and smaller form, and come to my palace and live as my guest. You need not afflict good people at all, but I shall feed you with sinners and thieves. So once you're damned, you're damned, it seems. Karkati agreed. She became a charming young woman and accompanied the king to live as his guest. He entrusted thieves and other crim criminals and sinners to her. At night, every day, she resumed her demoniacal form and consumed them. During the daytime, she continued to be a charming woman, 
the friend and guest of the king. After her meal, she would often go into Samadhi for a few years at a time, at a time before returning to normal consciousness and normal life. So, don't misbehave and beware charming women because who knows what they might turn into at night. Vasishta continued. Thus Karkati lives even now protecting the king's descendants. She was the daughter of a demon who resembled a crab. There's a question mark here about that. Demons are of many kinds and colours, white, black, green and red, and she was of the black kind. I told you the story, however, because I remembered her questions and the king's answers. In essence, even as the ramifications of the tree its leaves, flowers, fruits, etc., extend from this seed in which there is no such diversification, the universal diversity extends from the infinite consciousness. O Ram, by merely listening to my words, you will be enlightened. There is no doubt in this. Know that the universe has arisen from Brahman, and it is Brahman alone. So there's no doubt that by listening to these words, Ram will become enlightened. But he seems to take a little while longer because there's the yoga physicist has still got quite a bit to go. Ram asked, if oneness alone is the truth, why then do we say, by this, that is attained? Well, I think we shall continue that later.